It's been said that a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, if you're Scott Grant and you're the purveyor of over 30,000 CFL images from over 50 years, then you have a collection that is priceless. And I spent some time with the man known as the shooter, the guy on the sidelines capturing moments that transcend time in the CFL. Do you consider yourself a bit of a storyteller in your own roundabout way through your pictures? Uh, yeah, I do. Absolutely. It's, uh, well, it's a, a, it's a photo history of the CFL that no one else has. Certainly not as far back as, as, what, as what, I've, what I have. Uh, I remember pretty much everything I shot. Like, and it's a lot of pictures to remember. And but it really, in, in its own way, stops time. It, it is, you know, for some of the stories I've heard of, of players um, that unfortunately, you know, ended up with Alzheimer's or dementia would, would sit down and, and go through pictures of themselves and remember yeah. the games, right? And, and that right there is, is reason enough to have this thing alive is it gives, gives them a piece of their history, their, their memories. Everything I shoot is isn't there they are my memories but they're, they're somebody else's greater memories yeah. it's because of jogo cards yeah. with don bradley and barry goodman in 1981 starting the cards up right. i wouldn't have been out shooting individual players like for this long if it wasn't for for the cards so in in some ways the that jogo cards was was heavily involved in the building of this this archive so and for me it, it was just uh, I'd love I loved football I always have it. I went out to a, uh, with him in a game in 1969, and he'd been shooting the CFL from 1959 up until, well, till '81. But, but uh, you know, he would go out. He was friends with all, a lot of the players. They'd come over to the house, so we got to know a lot of them that way. But yeah, as far as the legacy goes, and and building on the building on this this archive of close to 36,000 pictures now, uh, it, it's it's something that you know I, as a kid, I would never imagine and and even up until I started going through all the old pictures and scanning them and putting them up that I that I think that it would continue to, to grow the way it has it's a surprise that that uh, more people haven't uh, discovered it right. and uh, you know the, the, the CFL knows about it the you know the the, the Alumni Association they they use a lot of the pictures and some of the alumni associations from the different teams all are all aware of it and, and, and use the pictures as well, which is which is great. It's 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 a it's an archive for the fans, it's an archive for the players and their families and is there a but, game day energy for you? Uh yeah, there is. Actually I, I get really anxious. Okay. And it's I always have. And it's, but I get anxious over any any assignment that I shoot. But for football, because it means so much to me, I have, you know, I'm trying to cover as many players as possible on both teams, and because you never know who's going to be, you know, this might be the only game they ever play. I come to the games a couple hours, three hours before the game starts, and what's the feeling like for you though when you take that shot, and then you step back and you look at it and you go, yeah, I got it. Uh, I usually look around to see if anybody else got it. Yeah. And Not a thing in you. Well, yeah, and that's something I grew up with with yeah. my dad. But sure. but I, I I'll, I'll look around and see. And, and generally, I stay away from all the other photographers. I'm yeah. I try to be by myself and and find something different. Hey!